We were called out this morning to a house fire just after 9.30 a.m. in the 1200 block of Northeast 47th Street here in Northeast Oklahoma City. Uh, we were told upon dispatch that we possibly had two children still inside the home and we were told that they would be in the southeast corner of the bedroom. So obviously that's going to be our first priority when we arrive on scene is to try to get people out of the home. When we arrived, I can tell you that the fire involvement was, was pretty significant at the front of the home, on the porch and into the, to the front portion of the home. But firefighters again sent a crew into that southeast corner bedroom. Uh, unfortunately, the, the children were not discovered there. We, we did not find the children in that bedroom. Uh, firefighters continued to fight the fire as well as conducting their search and they did locate the children in a bathroom in a completely different part of the house. Uh, unfortunately, the children did not survive, so we have confirmed two children that, that did not survive today. Um, I can tell you that uh, firefighters are obviously having a difficult time with this. This is something that uh, we don't ever want to have to see. We, we spend a considerable amount of time with you know, fire prevention efforts, and, and we have you know, one of the finest fire response organizations in the country, and despite all of those things, bad things sometimes still happen. So this is a, a very tough day for the, the children, obviously, and the family, and, and this really this entire neighborhood. And we just want them to know that our hearts go out to them today, and, and we hope that they're able to get through this. There were actually four people inside the home at the time of the fire. It, were, it was the two children, the mother, and a grandmother. Uh, the mother reportedly took the grandmother out first because she was wheelchair bound. She attempted to go back inside to get the children and it was already too hot to go back inside. So uh, my understanding is a, a passerby stopped and saw what was going on and that passerby called 911.